All right, students, so we are going to uh, do the gas chromatography for our sample from the caraway oil. And in my hands here, I have a Hamiltonian syringe, which is a old uh, type of syringe. It's made out of uh, stainless steel parts and glass. This particular one has a maximum volume of 10 microliters, so I'll go ahead and turn the scale towards you. And uh, the reason why we're using this uh, Hamiltonian syringe is because we want a very, very small volume for our gas chromatography machine. Uh, we're actually only going to inject about one or two microliters of sample, and uh, it has to be stainless steel metal here because our uh, gas chromatography machine is actually quite hot. So if we take a look here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press a couple buttons and show you that our column temperature is actually quite hot. So this is in degrees Celsius. Our column is currently at 193 degrees Celsius. Our detector is at 202 degrees Celsius. And our injector, the uh, item I'm about to touch here, is at about 199-200 degrees Celsius. So let's say 199.5 around there when it starts to fluctuate that way. So that would be this metal port right here. Extremely, extremely hot. So that's why we're using stainless steel uh, and glass for our syringe. I'm going to go ahead and start by, um, I've already rinsed my needle with the wash and we're going to start with fraction one from our column chromatography of caraway oil. So I'm going to start off by uh, dipping my syringe into here and we're going to uh, just evacuate that liquid onto a chem wipe here. And what I'm doing here is washing my needle with the sample to be analyzed. This is ensuring that my syringe has only the compound that I want to analyze. So it's kind of like, you know, washing before you go. And now I'm going to measure two microliters of sample into my barrel. And I'm going to place down my vial. And I'm going to go ahead and pull back on my plunger here and add some air. So I'm going to go all the way to four microliters, actually five microliters with air. Okay, now that I have my needle ready to go, I'm going to ensure that my computer is ready to receive my information here. Let me be a, a good good student here and close my vial. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and insert my needle into the port. I'm going to avoid touching that very, very hot metal end, and I'm going to push in my plunger and press collect at the same time. Okay, so now that I've injected the sample, I'm going to repeat my washing just to ensure my Hamiltonian syringe stays nice and clean. Okay, so I'll have us bring our attention over to the screen. And what we see so far here is some solvent. So inside of uh, sample one, I had some hexanes along with our compound of interest. And so it looks like we've got a large hexanes peak. And uh, since this is fraction one, what we're hoping to find here is a peak of limonene. And it looks like we just obtained that. All right. If our column was successful, what we'll see is that in fraction one, we have only limonene and no carvone, uh, which is the two major compounds present in caraway oil. All right, so we are here at the end of the run for fraction one for the caraway oil. And as you can see at the uh, 200 to 220 second mark, we see no carvone. So this means that so far our column is successful in separation of limonene and carvone in the caraway oil. Uh, we're going to analyze fraction five next in a future video.